Yo, what's up guys, and welcome. Today we are building an automated crop farm. Yes, quick disclaimer, this farm only does carrots and potatoes. But it is a little beast of a farm, even if I do say so myself. Right, let's have a look, shall we? If I can just jump, it looks like this. We get them to farm whatever, you know, carrots or potatoes we like. And then this is what the whole farm revolves around. This little corner is implantable. They will keep planting and planting and planting forever in this little corner. But the crops can't be planted there. And we get them stuck in this endless loop of harvesting and trying to replant this little corner. Then our drops go in here, of course. And if we just watch the uh, carrots in there, we can see them going up and up and up and up. Which is amazing, of course. So yes, no labor for me. Ha ha ha. Cool. Inside here, just like my villager breeder. Of course, let me just close this up. We have got a golem and a nymph. He is simply the muscle of this operation to stop the spriggans from killing these guys when they break crops occasionally. And then our little nymph girl over there will heal them back up. Yeah. Okay, right, and we have an AFK spot in the middle as always, because if you really want to supercharge this farm, then we can use the ability Green Thumb, and it will obviously make all of these crops grow at an amazing speed, so you'll really supercharge this farm if you AFK on this block. Okay, now then, let me show you guys how we build this, okay? Alright, so... Here we have our farm, kind of stripped down to its bare bones. In the middle, fairly simple, water source block in there. I've got a trapdoor underneath to keep that suspended. Don't, don't put a light block there. Um, light in this farm is very importante. From there, simply, you know, four blocks here, four blocks in that direction, four blocks in all directions. This is nine by nine by three high. I've left the iron golem because you guys should know how to summon an iron golem, you know, just, uh, Iron block with a pumpkin on top, and voila. Now then, so, these corners here, obviously we have, um, what you might call it, greenhouse glass all around here to keep this growing through all of the year. And then here, we just put in our light sources. So in here, I'm going to put blocks of glowstone. There, right above this middle block. One as well. And the same here. And here, but not there. We do not go there. Okay. Now I can simply go ahead, do our crops as we wish. And then I'll show you guys the little magical corner. The little magical corner of sure villager madness. Which is where we make all of our money. Carrots, 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 or potatoes, if you like. Uh, if I was you guys, I would do a separate carrot and potato one if you want to grow more than, you know, one type. Because they, they always default to the first slot in their inventory in anyway. So eventually you'll end up with either a load of carrots or a load of potatoes anyway. So make them separate farms if you want separate crops. Okay. Now this here is the special corner. Right, I'll... You know what? Let me just quickly... Do that. Cool. Now this guy needs to go out of the way, you chunky boy. And this is where our magic happens. Cool, so from here, we... Well, firstly, let's put down our little crate. So our drops go in there. Simply hopper going in there, hopper in there, and you guessed it. Another hopper in there, and in there. Cool. Now we get ourselves a rail next. Rail, rail, rail. Put ourselves a, a rail on there. Rail on there. Let me just close this quickly. It might pop out otherwise. Cool. Chuck away that rail. Now we put ourselves a minecart with a hopper on top of here. And a minecart with a hopper on top of there. Now we look around here up until you can see you've got the rail selected. And then we... Break out the rail. 
And the same here, if I can see the rail. Uh, yes, okay. So now the rail's gone. The rail is a block, obviously. However, this is only an entity. So, that's exactly what we want. We have two entities here. Now then, we get ourselves some pistons. Now let me quickly use the brain. There, and probably there. But probably not though, but that is okay. Because all we need is some dirt. And, not sad, dirt. There we go. Uh, just one block there, one more. And let me get in here. So one there, and one there. That will be fine. Now, button or a lever. Hey. Okay, seems like it does not like me. Put a solid block, then a button. Voila. Perfect. We end up with this. Now, I just want to see if... Perfect. Cool. If you can't place this block, it means the minecart's there. So then just put the blood block first, leaving to minecarts, and then do this step. Okay, cool. And it's gonna close this on up. Like a sir. Now, imagine this like this. That doesn't look too nice. Let me do it. This looks better. Imagine it like this. So, these four blocks. It's basically, imagine a force field. These two hoppers will basically intercept and collect any items that pass through here. So whenever any type of food goes across there, it's an invisible force field. Anything gets grabbed by them. And that's exactly what we use. Okay. Now let, oops. let me do this. So, so we have our little force field zone here. Now the other part is why we didn't put the light block here. It's because we are using this. F7. Now you see these light blocks. The light levels rather. This corner. These three exactly. We want them to be seven or less. Which means that crops can't grow there. So you can try and grow a crop there. But because it's daytime now. It probably will work. But no. No it's actually working perfectly. So. As long as we have it like this. Then. It just pops up each time. Crops try being planted here. That's exactly what we use. Ha ha ha. So the reason these ones by the way. Are. Um. Plantable is because the daylight can still reach them. So during the day, these guys would be fine, but not these three. They will never get daylight, therefore, they are invalid blocks, so the crops keep popping up whenever you try and plant them there. Oh, yeah. So then, these blocks, these, let me just set it today. These blocks, by the way, these are defiled lands glass, so they are obscure glass, um, is what they're called. They block out light. So these here, imagine this like a wall. All of these are basically solid blocks. They block out all the way through to here. So these all solid blocks here. All these solid blocks as well. This is just because I wanted to see through here. So I use obscure glass. And then from here you can put, you know, um, holes and any other things that daylight can come through. So all of these solid, all of these solid. These, uh, this is seven blocks, by the way. So from this corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll start getting this here. Now at the top here, did exactly the same. Don't need the light levels anymore. But, so obviously solid blocks here all around. And then in order to get this to work, you can give your farm sky access. But you have to block the sky access exactly along this line. Starting from this corner. All the way through here, exactly over this block, into this corner. I know it's very satisfying. Very OCD, very yin and yang. I don't want this weather. And then, so all these blocks along here. None of this can have um, sky access due to the sky. So no sunlight can interfere there. And the rest just kind of do what you want. Then we go in here. We have this where we can AFK. Of course, we've already planted all of the crops. We can AFK here. And we can use... This green thumb passive while we're sat here to really, really supercharge this farm. Like it goes like a lot, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I just want to check one thing. Is there a carrot block in this one? I don't think there is. Is there? But it's just me being curious, but it doesn't look like there is. Let me just get a crafting table quickly. Crafting. I should have checked this beforehand, but 
doing it now. During the tutorial, like a real professional. Ah, uh, no carrot blocks. Shame. I was really hoping there would be carrot blocks to make these um, if easier for transport, you know, when they are going to a trading village. Now, the other thing about this corner is... F7, once again. So, we can see these are block levels 4 and 5, which of course doesn't pose a problem in normal Minecraft. However, this is a problem in Adelcraft, because level 4 and 5... Because we haven't got any um, sky access, that means the light level all the way here, and here, and here, are 4 and 5. And I know that doesn't sound like a problem to most of you, because farmland, by the way, is not a full block, so no crops, can, uh, not crops, no mobs can spawn on here anyway. However, that is the light level that Grues can spawn in within Aralcroft, and Grues can spawn in air, so I don't like that. So, we solve this by simply putting down a redstone torch. Boop. There we go. That one is now six, which means this light level is also six. And one there. And one there. And now we are all six, but still seven or below. The, you know, the, below the light level of seven, basically. Which is the light level that crops can't grow at. Now then. We simply go and we close this up. And then we release the hounds who are eager to start well, harvesting and doing our work for us in any case. So, yay, happy days. You there. I don't pay you for nothing, do I? Get in there. I mean, I don't pay you. But I don't kill you either, do I? Exactly, so get in there. How dare he? Get seven away. You get your little... Oh, by the way, of course, the villagers, I forgot to say. So, villagers, you need brown coat villagers, of course, in order to harvest crops. Brown coat villagers are Fletchers, farmers, and shepherds. They are the only villager that can harvest crops. So, you need brown coat villagers to do this. And, of course, the other thing is you cannot build this near doors where the villagers will have line of sight with doors or within 64 blocks of a village. So if you have got a, a villager breeder around, can't build this next to it, it'll start spewing baby villagers everywhere. So don't do that. Alright, so not near a villager breeder, not near a village. So you'll have to build yourself separate quadrants, like a, uh, a breeding quadrant and a crop quadrant. That sort of thing, unless you, you know, want to risk it for the biscuit, then sure, go for it. Like, uh, if it fails... It's not the end of the world. This is such a small farm that, uh, you know, there's no real effort to build this. It's quite fair and simple. And let me see this guy here. And he gets stuck in his never-ending cycle of the life of planting crops, which just never seem to stay there. He is a cursed villager, and I like it. Cool. From there, I'm just gonna get my ass in here. The nymph. Ah, I forgot about the nymph. Let me go find this nymph. Mounts. Da, 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 da. We just get ourselves a nymph in there with a rock. And we name tag her because she, she needs to keep that guy alive. Uh, it depends if she is around here or if I will actually need to just spawn another. Probably need to spawn another unless she's going to go ahead and kill herself. Hmm. Fine. You know what? I'll just spawn another name tag. Why not? Okay, so to get her in here, of course, you will need to name... Well, not name tag her. You'll need to um, come fly her in through the ceiling with the rock. They can't be lead nymphs. Nymph there. la -dee da Just imagine I just flew her in here with the rock. Nice and easy. And I should have a name tag there. There we go. Okie doke. By the way, if you guys need um, help luring villagers around, you can still use a block of emerald in your hand in order to lead villagers around. If you guys didn't know that. Cool. From here, we can simply AFK. If we wish to, we can, if you want to AFK here, put yourself some glass blocks around here. Like so. And then... Well, at that camera angle, we can't see anything. Oh, look at my balls. 
Uh, but at that camera angle, we can't see anything. But in any case, you get the idea. You can simply AFK here. When the Spriggans spawn, they won't get line of sight with you. They won't aggro on us. And then he can sort them out. And we can use the amazing green thumb passive. To have all the crops around us grow at an amazing speed. And there we have our villagers stuck in... What is the name of that movie? Inception. It's like, what is happening? That was quite funny every now and then. It's every now and then one of these will throw some carrots to the other one. And like, oh, he's, he's clearly struggling. He can't get the job done. Here, take my carrots. And it just it just um, expedites the form. And it's, it's funny. It's really funny. And I love this form. Cool. Enough mumbling. As usual, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys found this helpful and useful. And that you can farm lots of emeralds or whatever it is that you need all of these crops for. And apart from that, this is Zergus saying thank you so much for watching. Have yourself an awesome day. And goodbye. Cheers.